Hi, my name's Jason Cadell from Alien Archery Australia, and um, today I just kind of wanted to talk to you about um, the blade on my AAV2185. Um, I'm not really going to go into overly too much detail, but there's been a few questions on the thickness, and uh, <coughs> I mean, I just wanted to to talk to you about what actually 80 thou thickness blade means. And at the end of the day, there's some great broadheads out there. You know, I'm not, I've, I've seen a lot of them in action. I'm a bow hunter myself. Um, I've taken quite a few with uh, different broadheads like everybody else. Um, but I wanted to talk to, about, talk to you about basically what 80 thou means on today's market. Um, there's a lot of really good brand broadheads out there and their blade thicknesses vary a lot. Um, generally, they're, be, they're between, say, 32 thou and 45 thou. So, when you look at a blade that has an 80 thou thickness, you, you kind of really got to look at it at its mechanical ability. And its mechanical ability is basically, well, it's thicker and it's stronger. Um, the blade that I use is in stainless steel, and backing that uh, 80 thou thick blade up, is a Rockwell hardness of 52. And that's also a quite a high figure. So when you look at other broadheads, and particularly um, you know, the premium broadheads that are like 15, 20, 25 dollars each, um, you'll find that their blade thicknesses are actually thicker. Um, some uh, 52, um, others are you know, pushing 48, um, some are in the 70s, but generally at the end of the day, um, 80 thou is the thickest blade in Australia. Now, if I'm wrong, please correct me, um, but at the end of the day, when you buy a broadhead, you, know, you really need to, to be aware of that. And the thickness at the end of the day also um, determines the mechanical ability of the blade. So when you buy an Alien Archery uh, AAV2185, you get an 80 thou thick blade. And backing that up also is a uh, steel ferrule. So it's not actually an aluminium ferrule, it's, it's steel, hardened steel. So you get these two great components. Um, another reason why I picked uh, 80 thou is the simple fact that I don't want my butt blades bending or buckling or anything along the lines like that. And having a blade that's currently twice as thick as anything else on the market, um, you know, that's a big thing. So when you're buying a broadhead, think about the blade thickness, ask about the ferrule material, and Ask the question, as a consumer and a bow hunter, you know, you need to get the best broadhead for you at the best price. And 80 thou is generally reserved for a lot of higher end, very expensive broadheads. So, you know, I'm really um, stoked that I stuck with 80 thou because I was actually going to do it a little bit thinner. But I thought, why? Why, why skimp? On a, on a blade when you really want that blade to do everything that you want it um, and, and and still retain a mechanical advantage and still be able to punch it through anything that you want. Anything with a pulse, you can shoot with my blade. Um, the fact that it's uh, 185 grain and in my last video I showed that um, it dropped around an arrow's width at 12 meters in comparison to a 125 grain fill point. That's fairly impressive. You know, a lot of people would probably say, oh, 185 grain, it's, you know, it, it's too heavy. You know, I, I use 125. So the advantage of using a, a heavier blade is a huge amount of kinetic energy is, is transferred in relation to a lighter blade. So if you're, uh, doing the trip up north Cape York and on the agenda is you know obviously trophy boars and maybe have a chance at a 
Asiatic buffalo or a scrub bull or a bantang or whatever. Um, and also trophy bulls along the way. Um, it's a great broadhead for that. And one of the other things that I that I really like about this broadhead is the finish. I, I'd have to say that they are an absolute um, beautiful looking broadhead. Uh, single bevel, um, steel ferrule, 80 thou thick blades, um, twin uh, uh, blade retention pins, it's just an absolute great blade and it shoots superbly which um, ticks all the KPIs that I had uh, when I was designing the blade so hopefully these will be available another four weeks time I'm kind of uh, kicking ass for three weeks but um, I don't think it's going to happen but when it when they do come out I'll be giving quite a lot of them away um, and I want your opinion let me know how these blades are um, currently they're $9 each delivered Australia wide and also another great feature is that they're completely modular so in the event that uh, that under extreme conditions you bend and buckle the blade and you know have a look at that I mean that is thick as man um, you can actually replace the blade so it's no more oh god the, the, the blade has bent um, they don't sell blades for it, throw it away. You can actually utilize these, uh, the ferrule, remove the damaged blade, and put a new one in. And a new blade is like five bucks. So all up, you've had two broadheads for $14. That's, that's a great advantage. Uh, more videos to come, and uh, thank you very much. Any questions in regards to my broadheads, please, um, yeah, email me. Um, I'm on Facebook, Jason Cadell, and um, it'd be great to hear from you and your opinion. Uh, thanks again.